It is the hour when from the boughs the nightingale's high note is heard. It is the hour when lovers' vows seem sweet in every whispered word, and gentle winds and waters near make music to the lonely ear. Each flower the dews have lightly wet, and in the sky the stars are met, and on the wave is deeper blue, and on the leaf a browner hue. And in the heaven that clear obscure, so softly dark and darkly pure, that follows the decline of day, as twilight melts beneath the moon away. She walks in beauty, like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy days denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress, or softly lightens o'er her face, where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place, and on that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. So we'll go no more a-roving, so late into the night, though the heart be still as loving, and the moon be still as bright, for the sword outwears its sheath, and the soul wears out the breast, and the heart must pause to breathe, and love itself have rest. Though the night was made for loving, and the day returns too soon, yet we'll go no more a-roving by the light of the moon.